Lindsay Gamble here, HITP Music, Red Mass Apparel. What's going on, man? We're with Luna. What's going on, man? Um, Glad to be here. Dope. So last night you had you had a performance at Middle East. Yes, I did, man. And yes, um, did. if I can remember, you said that was like one of the best oh, yeah. music nights of your life. Oh, yeah. Tell oh, us a little bit about that. There's so much love in the building. Like, I didn't even, when I walked out and I saw people in the front and people in the back, back and on the sides of the bar, like, I knew it was going to be crazy. And, like, everybody killed it. All the other performers, they killed it. They did their thing. It was just a whole bunch of love in the building. Great. Dope. So the first time I, I seen you perform, well, the first and only time I seen you perform was at Cultures a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and um, I know I was impressed by your stage presence. It wasn't really stage, but you know, Thank you, Thank yeah, you. Um, you, you seem really confident um, performing and everything. I, I feel like everyone else felt that way too. Really? Thank you. Um, Appreciate it. How do you feel about that? Like when you go into performance, um, what do you go into like hoping to accomplish with the performance? I hope the crowds in the team, like primarily, like because. They're, look, they're looking at the artist, they're looking at the guy on stage to see how how he's going to feel, how he's going to present his material. So, I mean, if the crowd is feeling it, then that means, like, I'm doing a good thing. I'm doing, I'm giving the people what they want to see. So, it's it's an awesome feeling, especially when you're up there and people are looking at you and putting their hands out, trying to dap you up and everything. Man, it's great. It's, it's, it's awesome. It's unexplainable. Cool. So, before you can even take stage, you got to have, you know, a collection of music and put out a great collection in art. Uh, Judah, and um, you know, it came out a couple weeks ago, and I, I really liked it. Thank you, man. Thank um, you. What was the concept? What kind of was the inspiration behind it? I was trying to like switch it up a lot because, like, I, I, did, I don't know if you know, but I did a name change. I used to be known as Masterpiece. Okay. <clears throat> but then after talking about it with like my friends and like my team, we figured let's do a more natural approach, like something more genuine, something more organic. So we picked Muna. So like that's like. That's the name, like my mother, my grandparents, all of them, my family members call me. So when we were thinking of the concept for Judah, we were thinking of something like unique to me. So I said, all right, let's, let's think of a concept, let's think of something that's that's unique to who I am. So that's the that was the basis behind the mixtape, you know, something genuine, you know, trying to give people something that when they hear it, they get to know me better, but then they also appreciate my music at the same time. So that was the goal behind it, yeah. A lot of your music's pretty uplifting, and it has, for like an artist, um, I think you're 19 years old, correct? Yeah. yeah for exactly. an artist that's young, I feel like you bring a lot of knowledge and a lot, a lot of references that kind of would go out of go over people's heads that wouldn't really, you know, if they're not really having their heads in books and stuff. Yeah, thank you. Um, kind of like, is that something you you want it you you know you do naturally, or is it something that you instill in your music as far as like just being really knowledgeable about the world? I'd, I'd be lying to you if I said like that's what I think when I'm. Yeah. And, and like, I just write with like whatever I think, you know. And like you as the listener and the listeners, you telling me that it's it's knowledge and it's it's uplifting and stuff like that. That's that's the best compliment I can get from somebody. You know, it's not like I I intend to to kick what I kick. You know, or I intend to speak however I want in the song. It's it's the reaction from the fans, and that's the reaction I've been getting from off the tape. So. It's dope, man. It's dope. So speaking of uplifting, you had the song uh, Cleopatra, which I love. Um, that was, actually was one of our 25 best songs Word. that we, we selected. Word. Um, what, what about that song? Tell us about that. That song was inspired uh, from the girl I know. Because I used to go to school in uh, Fisher College in Boston, so uh, she was a good friend of mine for years. And, uh, and I was just, I was intrigued by her. I was intrigued because, you know, a lot of girls, at school, like they, they were in the books, but like they were twerking. And doing yeah. <laughs> Nothing wrong with twerking, like it's it's what it is, but you know, like I was intrigued that she was like, she was in the books, and then she also could have a good time at the same time. So I think like that's that's what a lot of guys want, you know, like an independent queen, you know what I'm saying? Like an independent somebody who knows what she wants, but then at the same time she can also have a good time. So that was that was the basis behind that clear gotcha. Yeah. So. Okay. And before that, there was a couple other singles. Yeah. Tell us about those and kind of why you decided to put those two out. Yeah, uh, I put a, my personal favorite on the mixtape was uh, Crown of Thorns. Because like I had a lot of fun like recording it, coming up with the concept. And the concept alone, like if you're if you're religious or if you're spiritual, you know the idea of the crown of thorns with Jesus and how when he put the crown on, spiritually he was he was like uh, he was removing like he was he was putting on his crown as the king, but at the same time it was a painful and was a gruesome thing. But then like he worked for that, so like it's the sacrifice. It's, 
it's what artists do, you know, they sacrifice themselves so that people can enjoy what they're doing and they can enjoy the messages that they're trying to convey. So that was that was one of the main bases for that crowd of doing it. So. Oh, oh. Oh, so what do we have going on for visuals? For visuals, uh, shout out to the homie Boston CEO, my homie Cakes. We're actually talking about doing uh, another video for um, uh, this new single I dropped called The Renaissance. Yeah. Uh, Good song. Yeah, thank you. And uh, CEO, he actually he filmed uh, Premeditated State of Mind in my previous video. So I like the visuals that he did on it. And, you know, he was real creative. He was telling me like we should do scenes here and stuff like that. So I'm definitely gonna keep working with him for, for as long as, as we can keep working with each other because I like I like the way he thinks. His artistic vision in videos. So it's, it's still very important. Very cool. Um, right now you're in college. Yeah. Like how how, what, how do you balance you know, school work, your personal life, and doing music? It's tough, man. It's, it's tough, especially like trying to keep a trying to keep up with your studies and stuff like that. But it's dope at the same time because while I'm in class and stuff like that, classmates who I know, classmates who I don't know, come up to me saying, "Yo, I heard your mixtape, and it's, it's dope." It's it's I, I don't even like. I had a girl come up to me saying, you don't even look like a rapper. You don't even, you don't even give off a rapper persona. And it's dope, you know, it's dope yeah. being in school and being able to, to hit people in that demographic. Like you were saying earlier. So. You gotta be a good feeling, you know, just people come up to you oh, and yeah. know, just respect you Nothing for the music and everything. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Boston? Like any artists you, you really like out there, any artists you want to work with? Just oh, the scene in general. I got the plenty of Boston artists I'd love to work with. Um, I was with Maystar, uh, shout out to Maystar. Um, last night we were chopping it up and he was talking about his projects. Um, I did a radio interview with the homie G.O.D. Going to work with G.O.D. Um, shout out to the big homie Millie's. You know, Millie's doing this thing, the Future Memories project dropped and the streets was talking about it. Uh, even homies like uh, Lee Boy, Northside Sleeve, Don Lennon, all these, all these veterans, you know what I mean? Like, they're the competition, but then at the same time, they're the teachers. You know, so you're looking at how they want, how they do their thing, how they, how they move, and how they put their chess pieces together and stuff like that. So, in terms of Boston artists, I'd love to work with anybody because right? it's, it's it's a city, it's our city. You know, so it should be unity. But yeah, it's, it's out to Boston. Definitely, gotta keep working. Um, so what's going on in the future? Me and you talked a little early and you said you got a pr new project coming out yeah. eventually. Yeah, um, we just started working, uh, we started recording with, uh, with my big bro, uh, Sean Stewart. He works at um, Surefire Studios in Lowell. We just started recording for uh, my next project called The Black Renaissance. There's no date for it yet, but we, we completed two songs and hopefully in the next couple of weeks, before I go back to school, we can have at least five tracks done, and then we can come back after during break and stuff like that, and get working to it again. So yeah, it should be it should be dope. Oh, hopefully I exceed what Judy did. You know, yeah. All the progression. I mean, usually that happens, you know. Yeah. We got a nice foundation to build off of. Thank you. So anything else you want to tell the people out there? Um, uh, really just follow me on Instagram. Uh, Muna uh, underscore fr. Follow me on Twitter, Muna six one seven. Just thank everybody for the support. You know, like I'm, I'm only nineteen. You know, what I mean, I never thought I'd be getting this much you know, love and credibility from you, from your blog, from Nighthawk Radio. Shout out to Nighthawk Radio. Um, it's, it's a blessing. It's a true blessing to get like people from the city actually riding with you and listening to what you have to say. So thank you for that. Thank everybody for that. Yeah, keep working hard. Man. Thank you. It'll be good. Lindsay Gambo, HITP Music, Mass Apparel, Luna. Don't get me wrong, it's not the love and the attention, it's the pain when your name is constantly being mentioned. Cause the same sword they knight you, they gone good night.